Cricket 24 may be the most licensed cricket game that we've seen from Big Ant Studios, but that doesn't mean that there aren't still teams that aren't licensed. This means we can use the community once again to make sure all of our teams are fully licensed with the correct rosters and kits. Welcome to gaming and welcome to another Cricket24 video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to change your unlicensed teams to their licensed versions using the community. Now, this is something that many of you will already know how to do, but I'm putting this out there for those of you who aren't too sure on how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the community tab and then when you're in the search settings scroll over to teams you can search with team name i'm going to put india in and then i'm going to organize or sort by rating now the search can take a little bit of time so i'm going to skip ahead here to show you the results that i get if you don't search by rating, you will get kind of like a random assortment of different creations from different users. But the one you're going to want to look out for is this top rated one. He's usually the top rated creation on any team you're looking for. And that is Waste Your Youth. Many of you might know Waste Your Youth if you've played previous cricket games. Always one of the top creators for the unlicensed teams in the games. And you can even search by user back in the search tab. So if you're looking for a specific team and you know you won't waste your youth, then you can put waste your youth's username in the user search. So we're gonna click on that one by waste your youth, the India team that he has created. And as you'll see here on the uniforms list, he's done like an extensive list of different ones. We've got under 19s, we've got the 75th anniversary, we've got retro kits. This guy goes in really hard on the creations. One thing I did notice though was the current Cricket World Cup kit is not actually available and it doesn't seem to be available from anybody from any of the creations that I've checked through so I'm not sure what's going on there but as you can see as well scrolling through the players they all look pretty good. Some of the other creations that I looked at the players weren't even the correct ethnicity but then what you want to do is you're going to download with logos and you can see that it will take a little bit of time. It takes a couple of minutes actually depending on the size of the download so I'm going to skip it on and now we're going to go in and play a match with our new licensed India team and we're going to do the Cricket World Cup match that's coming up India versus Australia. Now as I say unfortunately for some reason nobody has created the new India one day international kit so we're going to use one of the the other kits that are available from Waste Your Youth here in this match but it's better than the stock generic India kit that comes with the unlicensed team that we saw in my first playthrough the other day. If you've not caught that, I did a live stream. You can go back and watch the VOD now on the channel. And here they are walking to the crease with their new kit. The right players as well. We don't have fake players in there now in the India team. And I'm going to show you a six for good measure from myself. Although I did lose a wicket actually off the first ball. And there's a six. Now, just to show you the process again, we're going to go back to search community, onto teams, and we're going to type in Yorkshire. So my county team, my local team, Yorkshire, in the search there. Going to go down and do it by rating again. But again, remember, you could have put in the username search, Waste Your Youth, to find him. But actually, you see he's the top rated creation again this time for the Yorkshire team. And let's have a quick look at the uniforms. Yes, they are looking correct. Not very keen on Yorkshire's current uh, current kits. I prefer some of the ones from previous years. So, gonna have a quick check of the roster. Looks pretty spot on to me. There's gonna be something slightly different here with this one, and I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys to decide what to do. There's Adam Leith. Uh, local lad from the same town as me from Whitby so we're going to download with logos but we get this clash now uh, you already have a current base version of Johnny Bairstow saved locally how would you like to proceed now I'll leave this up to you how you want to do it but for me I just replace the current with new and when you do that you need to click um, go do the same for all future conflicts which is triangle because as you're gonna see here, there's a few players that get updated. Now you can update different things, identity, visual skills, I leave it as that. You can change his stats. I think with someone like Waste Your Youth, he's very, very reliable 
to be trusted to replace the base versions with his versions. Uh, you might want to be careful if you're using other user creations as well, but generally if they've been rated quite well, then you know they're pretty trustworthy. So we're going to go in, play a Club T20 with Yorkshire, and you can see here at the crease, Adam Leith knocks it away for four, and he's in that lovely, well I say lovely, I'm not that keen on it, but he's in the actual Yorkshire kit and not a generic one. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed and if this has helped you, then do leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe to see more Cricket24 videos coming up on Welcome to Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one.